Network Gamer guys and gals. Today we got a spooky little Halloween game for you from Dragius Games and Lumen Section. We have Sweet Witches and this game is just an adorable fun cute little game. You can pick between uh, four different witches. I guess two are supposed to be good. They're uh, is it Praline and Vanille and then you can also after you beat it with the first characters you can beat it with Aeneas and uh, Riglisi and uh, the objective for the first two witches the good witches when you beat the game is to plant flowers in all the empty vases and whenever you come through again with the other witches you'll be removing all the flowers so uh, it's pretty fun and adorable little idea and it's over 50 levels across five different worlds and the worlds look just so adorable like the art style in this game like um, there's sn a little snow level a Halloween kind of like a Christmassy candy like a candy world as well and it's just I don't know it's just so cute the art style for this game is uh, adorable as well as you can see here like it's really well uh, designed like the art style it's so cute. I uh, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I think Riglisi is my favorite witch. I like the green color and I like her pumpkin weapon. And uh, each one of the four different witches, they have different special abilities. Like one will go across an area really fast planning. Another will put like a shield around themselves that can hit enemies. So each of them is a different playthrough each time. And there's also pickups that you can grab. Like you've seen there, I just got the boxing glove. You can use that one to punch enemies and kill them. Right there. There's also one that like does a big uh, like a bomb that explodes and kills everything around it. And then there's another one that uh, sets a, like a bear trap. And if they step on it, it kills them. And they're found in those little boxes that I picked up. And you can't jump on this game. You have to create la ladders. So it really uh, makes you approach the level in different ways. And like how to avoid the enemies and such. Because some will shoot at you. There's a melee. But it doesn't kill all types of enemies. Like the bigger style enemies. It doesn't do any damage to them. So you have to uh, use the special abilities on those. Right there is the special ability that makes you go really fast. There's also enemies that will, uh, like you see this rabbit, he'll eat your flowers when you plant them. Or, and there's another one that will uh, plant more when you're trying to uh, get rid of them. So, it's a lot of little cute things that uh, I, I think a lot of people enjoy. There's bonus levels that, that when you beat a world and uh, each one of these that you kill, you will get the heart from it. So, it counts like getting extra men. And you have a certain amount of time to collect them all. So you can get, I think it's up to five extra men every time you beat a world. See right there, I got two. But um, there's also multiplayer. I wasn't able to play it very much though because I didn't have anyone around at the time. But it's just like a versus mode. But like as you can see here, these worlds are just really well designed. And they look really cool. Here's the bomb going off that I was talking about. I, I had a blast with it. I, uh, I think it's perfect timing for Halloween I think it'll do pretty well on the on Xbox the console it releases for this week for next week I think it is and I think it's 9.99 so uh, I think you get a lot of content for that price it kind of reminds me of like a modern day uh, burger time but with really uh, cute graphics like uh, I I just I can't say enough how much I love the design of the characters in this game the protagonist and the antagonist I think they're both uh, just fun to play with and they just they're just adorable here's one of the Christmas levels just look how good this looks I uh, I really don't have many bad things to say about this game I guess maybe if you played it all the way through with each wish which it might get kind of repetitive but I I it wasn't really it never felt that way to me uh, it can be difficult, but you can adjust like how many men you have. You can adjust the speed of the enemies, and it just makes it so much simpler. That's the world right there. That's what it looks like 
when you're picking where you want to go. And if you beat it with one of the witches, you can go straight to the boss with the other one. And like if you're an achievement hunter, the achievements aren't too bad for this one. It's pretty fun achievements, pretty simple. Um, what else do I need to say? I did experience a glitch though where the game kept freezing up on the second to last level before the boss. There's an achievement for killing the Cat Queen with uh, your magic ability with uh, Reglisi. And uh, every time I would try to do it, the game would lock up and kick me to dashboard. But this is before launch, so I'm sure that's going to be fixed really soon in a patch. So I wouldn't even worry about that. Here's like the one of the main boss fights, and look at these cool like the cherries drop. And I was just really blown away by how cute this was. And I figured I'd throw it in the video. I uh, I, I recommend it. I think it's a fun game. It's co-op as well. If you're looking for something you want to play with, uh, you know, your your kids or a friend around Halloween season. You know, it's it's a lot of fun, and uh, I think it's definitely worth picking up. Be a good gun. It's a good game to play with a little one. I I believe. So, uh, let me know what you think, if you, uh, played it yet, and, uh, love hearing from you as always, like, comment, you know, all the things, thanks for the support, guys, happy Halloween, 7.2 out of 10.